It's not a speaking part. You're a prop. <laughs> I'll just put some in my pocket. For now. now, how do you how do you think he feels right now? S silly, right? Not safe. Why? Does he does he need a life vest right now? No, he doesn't need a life vest right now. Now, this is let's say he's going canoeing. Does he need a life vest when he's canoeing? By law, yes. Now, when you rent the canoe and you put that on and you turn the first corner, what do you do with the life vest? Take it off and sit on it, right? Because he's a strong guy. Even if the canoe tips over, he can get off to the bank and he can flip the canoe back over. And, and he's a strong enough guy in his own power, he probably can do it. Now, let's take Pastor Herb, sink his boat in the middle of the, of the gulf, and he can't see land for hours, for hours, maybe a night. Do you think he would feel silly wearing that? Do you think I would have to convince him if I came up and tried to hand it to him? Would I have to say, listen, I've got this for you. And he says, no, I feel goofy. It's, I don't even like orange. Don't you have the nice, you know, the vest ones? I'll pass. No, would I have to convince him to take that? Would he rip it out of my hands to get it? Why? Because he understands his condition. On the stage, he's not lost in his mind. On the canoe, he can handle it himself. In the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the gulf, He's hopeless. He has no hope on his own, right? And that's what the gospel is. Thank you, Pastor. You can take that off now, or you can keep it, either one. <laughs> so here's what we do when we share the gospel on the mission field. We want to make sure people get lost. We go 4,000 miles to share bad news with people. And here's what I'm going to tell you what that bad news is. All of sin comes short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. We'd all admit that, right? This is how we share the gospel on the mission field. We're all sinners. And I'm moving fast because we're out of time, but I want you guys to understand, it's easy. The gospel message is easy. Don't get off track when you're sharing the gospel. You can use the Romans road. We're all sinners. We admit we've all done something to displease God and break his laws. The penalty for that sin, Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. We deserve death. We sinned. We've all admitted we're sinners. And you know what, guys? There's more bad news. There's not a scale in heaven where your good works outweigh your bad works. You get in. You know, I've been a pretty good person. Yeah, the scale, the, the, the standard is perfection. God said, not one sin will ever enter in heaven. So you've got a problem. You're a sinner. The penalty for sin is death. And you can't save yourselves. I came just to look, you know, 10 miles to tell you that. But sometimes I go 4,000 miles to share that bad news. And that's discouraging, guys. But you know what? Here's the good news. 2,000 years ago, God sent his son. He lived a perfect life. He allowed himself to be nailed to the cross. Romans, the second half of Romans 6.23 says, But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And who's it for? For the rich people? No. For the Americans? No. Who's it for? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Guys, the gospel's that simple. You have a problem. You can't solve it. God sent his son to pay the penalty that you owe, and he offers it to you as a free gift. All you have to do is receive it. Would you like to pray right now? Do you understand your condition? Would you like to pray right now to receive that free gift of salvation? We don't get to choose the, me the method of salvation. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. There is only one way, right? We, and people say, oh, that's not fair. It's not about fair. That's what God said. If there was another way, Jesus himself said, God, if there's another way, nevertheless, your will be done. So if you're in the room today and you've never done that, it's it, those simple steps... You just thought because you joined the church, you're a Christian, or maybe you went through some kind of confirmation or were sprinkled as a baby, you're, you're a Christian. If you've never done that, talk to us today. We would love to pray with you, pastor. Any of the deacon leaders would, would pray with you and make sure that you understand you can have a home in heaven one day, not because of what you've done, but because of what Jesus did on the cross, and he offers it as a free gift. That's what we share with people when we go around the world. It's very simple. We don't go to build buildings, I'm sorry. We don't go to do medical clinics, I'm sorry. It's just a vehicle that gets us to the mission field. It gives us a platform so that they'll listen to us. Because when you give them medicine, just like Jesus, you show compassion. When you build them a building, you're showing compassion. And now they'll listen to the message that you're bringing. So if you want to be a part of that, our time's up, but I'll be in the back.